Today's medical-centric topic is Abnormal Labor, Causes, Signs, and Management Labor is a natural and progressive process that leads to childbirth. However, sometimes labor may deviate from the normal course, leading to what is known as abnormal labor. This condition can be challenging for both the expectant mother and the healthcare providers. In this video, we will delve into what abnormal labor is, its causes, signs, and available management options. What is abnormal labor? Abnormal labor, also referred to as dysfunctional labor, is a term used to describe labor that deviates from the expected progression and duration. It involves slow or stalled cervical dilation, ineffective contractions, or abnormal fetal descent. Abnormal labor can occur during any stage of childbirth, from the early phases of labor to the pushing stage. Causes of Abnormal Labor 1. Cephalopelvic Disproportion CPD When the baby's head is too large or the mother's pelvis is too small to allow for a smooth passage through the birth canal. 2. Uterine Contractions Weak or ineffective contractions may hinder cervical dilation and slow down the progress of labor. 3. Malpresentation The baby being in a breech or transverse position instead of the head-down position can cause abnormal labor. 4. Fetal Distress when the baby experiences a lack of oxygen or other complications during labor, it can lead to abnormal labor. 5. Pelvic Abnormalities Certain pelvic deformities or tumors may obstruct the baby's passage through the birth canal. 6. Previous Caesarean Section A history of a previous C-section can increase the risk of abnormal labor in subsequent pregnancies. 7. Maternal fatigue or stress. Physical exhaustion or emotional distress can interfere with the progress of labor. Signs of abnormal labor. 1. Slow progression. Labor may progress more slowly than expected, with minimal cervical dilation and effacement. 2. Ineffective contractions. Contractions may be weak, irregular, or fail to increase in intensity, hindering labor's advancement. 3. Prolonged labor. Labor lasting more than 20 to 24 hours in first-time mothers or longer than 14 to 18 hours in subsequent births can indicate abnormal labor. 4. Fetal heart rate changes. Abnormal fetal heart rate patterns during labor may indicate fetal distress. 5. Lack of descent. The baby may fail to descend through the birth canal despite strong contractions. Management of abnormal labor. 1. Labor augmentation. If contractions are weak or ineffective, medications like pitocin may be administered to strengthen contractions. 2. Pain management. Providing pain relief measures such as epidurals can help the mother cope with prolonged labor. 3. Positioning Encouraging the mother to change positions frequently can aid in facilitating fetal descent. 4. C-section In cases of cephalopelvic disproportion or fetal distress, a cesarean section may be necessary to safely deliver the baby. 5. Assisted Delivery In cases of prolonged labor, the use of forceps or vacuum extraction can aid in delivery. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.